Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are unboxing this quarter's cherry box and I will be doing a project following the unboxing. This is the cherry box for the fall quarter and it is packed with Tim Holtz goodness. So if you like Tim Holtz, if you want to get into mixed media, this is definitely a box to pick up and subscribe to. I will say so far this year, they've changed it to a quarterly scrapbooking kit or a quarterly just, you know, subscription box. And they have been fantastic with elements that you can keep and use more than once, like watercolor sets and um, paint palettes and, you know, mixed media supplies like stencils and stencil butters. And then this one is just the same because it has die cuts that you can use over and over and over again. So I took everything out of the packaging so it wasn't a problem and all the noise. So you always have a little insert fall cherry box for 2024 and it shows you the picture of everything you get. Now I will say that it is just a Tim Holtz stencil. It's not necessarily the one pictured and you do get one of the distress sprays. This one, we'll start with that. And in every box, it's different. So you may get the same one as me. You may get something different inside gives you a few ideas of the design team already using it and then what's included is listed on the back of this little like pamphlet so in the box you will get a color of the distress spritz i got weathered wood which is the silvery gray color if you're familiar with these these are a, a shimmery like last step pigment. Um, they are not opaque, like to cover up a whole paper or anything. These give you shine on top of the color that you've already laid down is how I've learned to play with them. So you get a new color of the Express Spritz. The stencil I got in my collection or kit was this one. It's called Cutouts, which I still think is fabulous with all the different shapes. will give interesting backgrounds to it. You get the Leaves 14 Dyes set. This is Tim Holtz and Sizzix. It is called Fall Foliage. And that alone is fa fabulous. Fa we're definitely using this. You can already tell, right? You get a um, texture embossing folder in this like wood pattern on it. And I am getting used to playing with these. I think I have like two or three in my collection. So it's great to have yet another one. So like I said, great product to play with in your collection. And then something you can use over and over again, a fantastic alpha. This is 36. They are two inches tall and they are a long, narrow font. And then you also get the numbers, which is fantastic. And this one is just called alphanumeric stretch lower and uppers, 665207. This is included in the kit. You get adverts, which are wood, wood like planking, wood little pieces. Um, very dimensional, if you can see that. They're very dimensional. Um, so I'm going to have to be creative on how I use these. This is the shaping kit. You get a set of tweezers and then two of these stylus with different size uh, balls at the edge and the and and then like a foam mat and this is to really like give dimension for your like leaves or like flower petals to look real so it like bends them into shape with the bally effect at the front um, and I saw the owners use this and I like such a great tool never thought of getting it and it's included in the kit so that alone too is fantastic so the mat the two like stylus with the diff four different different size balls and then the set of tweezers you get the uh, sticky grid sheets so this is to keep your die cut so it's a grid sheet and it keeps your dies like straight and on the plate so that you can probably make customized tags so that they're oriented in the place you want so that you can have the off cut of it be perfect so again another handy tool that you wouldn't think that you needed until you need it and it's included in this kit and then a whole pad of black out cardstock this is 24 papers it's eight by eight and it's just a whole pack of black on one side and craft on the other so it's called craft stock and so yeah i'm already feeling that we are going to take this paper these leaves these alphas and this stencil and do an art journal page um so i will probably take the time to cut out all the leaves we will get the splat box and I will use the spritz and I do, I'll bring out the other ones I have. So I do have fossilized amber and I have a few other like red and orange colors. 
so we can make some fall leaves and then we'll put it all together probably do some texturing in the background and cut out a title because you know I always want a title and we may or may not use the stylus set simply because in my art journal like I'll probably do it like in this one I have it on my desk um, I want to keep it rather flat um, so the having the dimension may not be ideal for this uh, notebook so we will you know pick a page do a background do some stenciling add the leaves add a title and so i may not want to add all the curls and the the realistic dimension on there for it uh but like i said we will use it in other projects because i'll do something else maybe a 12 by 12 where it won't matter <laughs> all right so let's me get using the leaf and paper and we get started cutting tons of leaves out so let's start right there okay Okay, so I did all my leaf cutting off camera so that you don't have to watch me use the manual die cut. And I'm putting it into the, you know, cherry on top box that everything got shipped in. And we are spreading them out so that it will contain the splatters. <laughs> do not do some splatters and sprays on your open desk. It will get all over everything. So definitely take that tip. Um, so here I am just like taking, I think I took like the, the red, a gold and the green and just sprayed and drenched some of the leaves. I even did some pink, um, and let that dry for a moment. And then actually I went in and did a second coating on the craft side as well. And then I actually also, that little paper I shaked over was a piece of pattern paper, uh, in my stash that I also cut out more leaves on just so that they were already colorful um, to begin with. Then I'm taking Dina Wakely um, uh, Heavy Body Paint. This one is in iris and in eggplant. I, you saw that I just squirted some just directly on my paper. No need for a palette for me. And just did it heavily with brush strokes. I also use a Dina Wakely um, like one inch flat bristle brush. Um, that it's just kind of applying it. And then I thumbed through a magazine image to find this figure. Um, I know, I think this is Lupita. Um, it's, it's, she's a model and this was from a Vogue or an Elle. Um, I used to be subscribed to those and I keep all of them in order to <laughs> do some art journaling images with them too. So I'm showing you my collection of stencil uh stencil butters i am using eggplant actually eggplant and then the brighter purple is orchid so this is the stencil that came in the cherry box and i'm using the eggplant on this side and i will say that this one was a deep color like i like it but i don't love it you know like and i was like ah oh, like it's so dark <laughs> i was like the other side i'm using the, the, the brighter one and then this side i do like a lot better especially on top of the purple so we're doing tone on tone here so anyway back to the magazines i keep them all of my old ones anyway because i like to rip out pictures like this and an image and be able to cut her out so there i am cutting her out i think she's wearing honestly she's wearing like a very tight bodycon dress it's like black and it's hugging all her curves so it worked out perfectly to kind of create this illusion of now creating a big like leaf skirt on top of it. So don't get me wrong, like I kept her whole whole image as you can see, but really I probably could have just cut her right like at the torso and it would have been fine. But for me, I think I thought I started off was like, oh, like right now it could be like just like a, a short skirt, like a little tutu moment. Um, but I had all these leaves, like look how many leaves I have cut out. <laughs> I'm using all of these leaves and I am using uh, that Fabri-Tac what is it called? Fabra Beacon Fabri-Tac Stretch Glue. This is that one that's like alcohol based. And actually, surprisingly, this has become my go-to um, uh, glue. It doesn't warp my papers. It 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 hasn't a longer open window because it's that flexible uh, brand, version of it. I'm sure there's a Fabri-Tac that doesn't have that flexible, meaning that it's just an open window where you have time to move it, which is good for some projects. But in this case, I wish I had like a quick dry one because you can see I put like a stencil butter on one just to kind of press it down and hold it while I went on and did some more. So I moved those weights down and it, this just turned out so fantastic. Wait till you see it. Okay, that will finish up this layout. So off camera, I use the the alphas that came in the kit as well to cut out the word authentic. And then on top of it, I just added tons and tons of splatter with my shimmers. Look at that shine. And then there's my little person and her flower dress. And look at all that texture from the stencil butters, the two different ones. 
so pretty and this is just so luscious and so good so i will leave the cherry box link down below remember this is the one that's available for winter or is it the fall box i keep it's quarterly so i always forget which one it is i do believe it's fall because of the leaves i will leave it linked down below for your shopping needs and hopefully you will pick it up and make tons of oh, so good I, I love that tons of leaves and i have even the leftover ones just sitting on my desk up here <laughs> ready to use for another project or two like the shimmers is so good you know and i did it on both sides so good definitely a good box especially if you love tim holtz highly recommend it thank you so much for joining me please subscribe if you haven't done so give this video a thumbs up and until next time everyone bye